Hi, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage. Today we're holding our monthly tech meet at my shop and we're going to be working on steering racks. I'm going to show you how to take them apart, put them back together and hopefully make them work. Um, because uh, that's where my best benefit is. is trying to... So we've made a few videos. These videos are great. They've helped a lot of people all over the globe actually. Just this week I had someone uh, who was working on a silver cloud transmission in the UK and, and uh, he had some issues and I, I answered his email and he was able to work them all out and it's all because of Steve's work here because Steve's videotaping this and he's going to edit it which is, takes about ten times as much time as what I do right here at least and then post it so that we can you know spread the knowledge and as a business decision You'd think it's counterintuitive teaching other people how to fix what you you charge for, but it, it's it's worked out the opposite for me in the long run. It's very beneficial. So here we go. Well, yeah, it's not like oh, I finally got some YouTube money. I didn't tell you, did I? No, I forgot about that. Yeah, I, I still have it. I'll split it with you, but I want to put it. I want to put it on the wall. Somebody who is watching a lot of our videos, um, has a silver spirit, and he had some questions. He emailed me. I, we went back and forth a bunch of times. Then all of a sudden I get this letter with this thank you noted and a $50 bill thanking me for being available to answer his questions. And it's, wow. it's refreshing. Most people want something for nothing. And uh, so, yeah. <laughs> But I, I think that it's awesome. And he's like in Wisconsin, so he's not he's not taking business from it, that's for sure. It was U.S. dollars. It was U.S. dollars, yes. <laughs> not Bitcoin or yen. It'd be 500,000 yen, right? Aren't, don't they? Have, it's incredible how much the, how many yen there are in a dollar. Bitcoin would have been nice. Okay. Huh? Yeah, that's still a lot. All right. So once again, I'm talking about my fame and fortune. Um, there's four holes here. Uh, it's hard to mix up the threads because they're differently. But when we took it apart, I said, make sure you pay attention because if you cross, these are the two outputs over here. If you look at this one, it's between the two outputs. You see that? It's in the center of the two outputs. That's in that spool valve with those nylon seals, so the center, until you turn this, which actually inside, it's, it's two pieces, it twists, and there's a valve, and it'll send the, direct, the fluid in either direction, depending on the direction you turn it, so. Put any seal there at all? No, this is a tubing fit. So the way it seals is when you tighten it, it crushes that steel against the, the housing. So there's no sealer, no pipe tape on the outside of the threads will do any good if you have a bad flare fitting. really neat. There's a lot of force when you hit something with a hammer. So. <coughs> All right. Almost there. So this thing was oriented up this way, I believe. So I usually start the valve housing on first. And then adjust this out to fit.
That's that. And then the last touch, well, first of all, since this is going to sit around, I'm going to put these plugs in here, keep it clean. Don't have a so all right. You could, if you were clever, grease it in there. But it's on the back side of the rack, so it'll probably fill this up before it gets around to the other side because the spool's on this side. Okay. So now this is the final touch. You don't want those boots coming off. Better than the metal ones? They're adequate. In my opinion. <coughs> Everything here is my opinion, just so you know. But, uh... That's crazy. Originally, on these clamps? Originally, the first ones came out with little hose clamp type things. Uh, and then the later ones came out with those, those crimped ones. Um, these are much easier. I like easy. And they're, like I said, they're adequate. There we go. Steering rack. Rebuilt. And we, we don't have to see if it leaks because I can't put it on the car. <laughs> and all the extra seals and rings and stuff. Mm -hmm. Where are they from? You know, that's a good question. This, this, these rings we saw were on there. I didn't change those. <coughs> these O-rings, I believe, are inside the spool, which typically ne I've never done one of those. I've never taken one apart. I've just swapped them out in the past. Uh, or they could be for a similar application. A lot of kits that you buy have extra parts. I think that's just to, for them to mess with your head, though. Yeah, really small ones. Yeah. If I didn't take it off, I don't have to put it on, right? That's the way I look at it. All right, thanks for joining us. Good job, guys. Bye. 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 Of course, at home, it doesn't take that. It takes a lot longer than mine. <laughs>